Welcome to today's Accomplish More Tip, Scheduling Emails. We all receive massive amounts of email every day. How do you manage it all? It can get overwhelming fast if you don't systemize and take control. Highly productive people like Jane do not allow themselves to be interrupted constantly with reading and answering emails. Sure, you can take your email anywhere on your phone or tablet, but Jane knows that doesn't mean you should lose focus and be distracted every time an email arrives into your inbox. Even on her desktop, Jane turns off her email notifications to avoid interruptions. Instead, she blocks time on her schedule to check and respond and manage her inbox. She even sets a timer. She doesn't want the task to consume her whole day. Jane knows that if she isn't careful and disciplined, the task of processing email can consume hours when it should only have taken just a short amount of time. Jane finds that checking her email twice a day is just right for her. She spends a focused 30 minutes first thing in the morning and another 30 minutes at the end of her workday. In a perfect world, this works well, but like you, Jane has things come up and her ideal schedule gets off kilter. Jane could get discouraged, throw up her hands, and give up even trying to keep her schedule. Instead, Jane knows there will be days more hectic than others. She strives to maintain her good process. In reality, there are times when Jane must respond to email at odd times of the day. She wants to catch up on what she hadn't completed, but it falls after her allotted office hours. But Jane is a business professional. She really doesn't want people to know that she is working at 11 p.m. Wouldn't that mean that people would think that you work 24-7 and will respond to them at all hours of the night? Jane doesn't want that. She wants to set reasonable boundaries for her customers and only respond to emails during regular office hours. Even though we live in an instant world, having boundaries and set times to do business creates organization and freedom. Jane wants to maintain her boundaries with her customers, but in reality, sometimes she finds herself working late. What should she do to process her emails outside of her office hours? The solution Jane implements is scheduling her emails. She schedules them to send during the time that she has allotted in her day to check and manage her emails. Jane uses Microsoft Office a majority of the time. Here's how she schedules. Jane composes her message and is ready to send. Instead of hitting the Send button, she clicks the Options tab. Then she selects Delay Delivery. From the next screen, she makes sure the Do Not Deliver Before box is checked. Then she chooses the date and time she wants the message to be delivered. Then she checks the Close button, then the Send button. The message is held in her outbox until the date and time specified in the delay delivery screen. Sometimes, Jane uses her Gmail account, so the tool Boomerang for Gmail comes in very handy. Other times, when Jane has a moment to catch up on her email, the only thing she has handy is her phone. In that case, she uses her email app to schedule her messages. Jane knows that all days won't go according to plan. She knows it's best to maintain the structure of her office hours, so when the need arises, she schedules her emails. It helps her to feel more organized, in control, and she accomplishes more. This short productivity tip has been brought to you by the Accomplish More Academy. Be sure to visit AccomplishMoreAcademy.com to sign up for enrollment updates.